ladies and gentlemen, from Los Angeles, California, the door. Uh, here we are on the fabulous Sunset Strip in Hollywood. And this used to be the London Fog, a dingy nautical club where we had our first gig. We played here a few months to know people, and then uh, we were fired. But on the night we were fired, the girl who booked the Whiskey A Go Go down the block hired us, talked the manager into having us for several months as the house band at the Whiskey. The time you I go down to Ray Manzarek's parents' garage in Manhattan Beach for a jam session. There was this guy in the corner, real shy, and Ray says, this is Jim the singer. He's never sung, but um, check out these lyrics. Cars crawl past all stuffed with eyes. Street lights shed their hollow glow. Your brain seems bruised with numb surprise. Still one place to go. Whew. I'd like to try drumming to that. Major And I have very fond memories of the whiskey. Yeah really played with heart and soul every night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. for rent money. And those are good times. And this is where Jack Holzman, president of Elector Records, came and uh, offered us a deal. All the record business people saw us, thought we were great, and said, oh, you're going to make it. But nobody ever really came up and offered us a deal except Elector. A celebration of uh, when we recorded five to one, I said, Jim, what, five to one, one in five, what's that? He said, it's for me to know and you to find out. So this um, gay and lesbian community center building was our old office. Upstairs was our office. Downstairs was our rehearsal room, where those sliding glass doors are. And that's where we recorded L.A. Woman. Right, this is where Jim sang the vocals out of the bathroom. We had bathroom echo. Uh, this is, was our spot for six years. Okay. Oh, yeah, this used to be a topless club. Now the Fat Burger. Yeah, this was our local bar. And uh, we went here often enough to make friends with all the dancers. And sometimes we'd take interviewers over here, and they tried to concentrate on their questions while breasts were moving around. And that was fun. And right across the street, which we will probably go to on our Doors tour of L.A., is the Alta Cienega Motel. Well, I walk out in my here we are at the uh, fabulous Alta Cienega Motel, directly across the street from our old office where we recorded L.A. Woman. And this place probably still is $6 a night. We started making money. Ray and I and Robbie started getting cars and houses. Jim checked into the Alta Cienega Motel. What a guy, huh? I think his room is right up here, one of these two. Uh-oh, they're calling the police. Get them out of here. At first, we were pretty good friends, and we hung around together. And um, he started doing things like breaking into the recording studio after we'd left at 4 in the morning, hosing the place down with a fire extinguisher because he thought, maybe we played too good, I light my fire, and he better douse the place. Okay, Jim, I'm not going to be hanging with you too much if you keep this up. This is the hill that Jim came up to. It was down at Robbie and my house, which is just a block down. And he was depressed. He walked up here with his little matchbook and wrote, People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked when you're on unwanted. Streets are uneven when you're down. And he came back elated. And Robbie said, what's happening? Wow, what would you do up there? Said, oh, I'm writing again. I got these lyrics. Man, check this out. And Robbie and I knew right away it was a hit. This is the 
the canyon store and behind it is where Jim and Pam got an apartment. Someone wrote Mr. Mojo Rising up there, which is an anagram for Jim's name. Anagram being you take those letters, move them around, and it says Jim Morrison. Smart guy, huh? This is the end. I'm still shocked that Jim died, you know? I had no idea that it was going to be that dark of a band, you know? Just four guys, you know, we're going to get out there and do it. Jim was for all-out freedom, and he broke on through, didn't he? Um, I'm still here, breaking through. Perhaps the thing that enthralls so many of these talented people associated with the film, The Doors, is the mystery of Morrison. Because no matter how many times we hear him, no matter how much we learn about his life, we'll never completely know him, even though we'd like to try. As Jim would say, this is the end. This is the end.